Hey guys, this is Paul Potratz and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. This week I'm talking about fear. But before I get into it, I'm going to give you five ways to overcome fear. But before I get into it, let me tell you a story, a personal story about something that I feared for years. And, and I've overcame it. But my biggest fear was really depending on myself. And what I mean by that is being an entrepreneur. I was fearful of being an entrepreneur and I worked for a number of people that I have, I mean, I actually do know why they got the, the role that they had as a manager. And that's because of longevity. They were there a very long time and they would show up to work every day. So they were promoted to manager. And these were the type of individuals that was leading the company, leading the corporation, and their whole philosophy of how they would lead others was through fear. That's what they really believed was, if you want more out of somebody, you need to make them scared. And I've got to be honest, I was scared every single day that I went to work. When I would leave in the evening, I was scared every evening if I was going to have a job that evening or if I was going to be called to the office. But let me be very clear about something. I was the top performer but I was always fearful that they would fire me, break up my list, and give it to new people because they were able to pay them less and not pay them the type of commissions that I was making. I can relate to you know, a lot of you guys that you're just wondering, am I gonna lose my job because you have a manager that rules by fear? But I was always scared to take a vacation because I knew if I took a vacation, something was gonna go wrong and I had no idea what it was. So I worked there for a number of years without taking a vacation. And then it started to create the fear of me with my wife that the relationship wasn't as strong as it could be. Granted, we have a great relationship, but I decided to take that vacation and sure enough, it happened. I came back and I was terminated. And the reason I was let go is because the upper manage management had the opportunity to get together and say, here's an opportunity for us to generate more revenue. Paul has the sales team in place, they're trained, they're, they're generating a lot of revenue, so now we can let him go because his pay structure is allowing him to make more money than we wanna pay. Well, I gotta be honest, that was the best thing that ever happened to me by them letting me go. And that was just a, really, a, I guess, a consequence or a cause that drove me to start my advertising agency because I would have, put up with that stress day in and day out. I, I would have left that company, went to another company, worked for another manager that was just as crazy. And I would have had that stress. I probably would have dropped dead of a heart attack at 50 or whatever it is, but it forced me to do something. And it forced me to head my fear, just take it head on and follow the five steps I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. But it forced me to do something that I dreamed about for years, something that I wanted to do for many, many years, and that was to start an advertising agency. But start a company, an ad agency, where I would work with individuals the way I wanted to be worked with and not, not rule by fear because you don't get anything out of fear. You don't get for people that are creative, you don't get people that are productive, it just doesn't work. So if you're a manager that's ruling by fear, I encourage you to really watch this video, let it sink in, and decide how you wanna be that type of manager that is not going to be leading by fear. So let's get into the five steps of how you can overcome fear and accomplish anything you want. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. This week I'm talking about fear. But before I get into it, let me tell you my fear that I have right now. My fear is that my head looks like Mr. Potato Head because you guys know our video guys love gadgets and we're trying this new lens that's probably making me look a little distorted. But we'll worry about that later. So this is what I did. I did a search where I went in and I was really wanting to see what's happening on search engine. So I typed in what causes fear. And the different terms that came up, it was what causes fear of intimacy? What causes fear of failure? What causes fear of height? What causes fear of failure? And the list went on. And I was thinking, you know, are, are we searching more and more for things having to do with fear? So I looked at that data and then I looked at last year, the year before last and the year before that, and I was surprised, well, I guess I really wasn't surprised, but yeah, I was kind of surprised, that the number of searches having to do with 
fear has quadrupled over last year. It makes you think, why are we so concerned about fear? Why are we so fearful now? We have more and more technology, we have more tools, we have more opportunities than we've ever had before. I know some of you are saying, I don't know about that, but we do have more tools, more technology, and is that causing more fear? Could be. So I started to think, well, what would people be searching for if they're saying what causes fear, and all these terms are coming up. So I typed in how to overcome fear. And the amount of searches that's having to do with how to overcome fear, how to overcome the, you know, the fear of public speaking, the fear of intimacy, those numbers were even higher. So not only are we asking the search engines what causes fear, but we're asking the search engines how to overcome fear. And today I'm gonna to give you five practical tips, five tips that I use to overcome fear because fear is completely natural. And if you don't have fear, well, you're probably lying to yourself and lying to others around you. So we all have fears, but how do you overcome them? Number one is simple. Accept it. Accept that you're having that fear. I mean, just accept it because you're gonna, you're gonna actually take it head on. It's normal, so accept it. That's number one. Number two, analyze it. What is causing the fear? I mean, you know, when, I, when I'm saying analyze it, what I want you to do is I want you to look at what is the worst case scenario? And guys, come on, be for real. Don't go crazy on me and, and be over dramatic thinking about, oh, this is the worst case scenario that I could actually blink, blink, blink. No, don't do that. What is really, realistically, the worst case scenario if you were to fail? And then the next part of it is, what is the best case scenario? And that's what I want you to focus on. What would be the best case scenario if I focus this fear and just go full speed ahead and just try to conquer it? And worst case scenario now, what's going to happen once you accept it, because that's the biggest part of fear, is we just put our head in the sand, we ignore it, we think it's gonna go away, and it's not going to go away. And it, it just, it's not. And it's holding you back because you don't accept it. Because I think about, oh, side story, here I go. But years ago, I mean, I had the fear of, you know, meeting people. I'm, I'm really an introvert and I was fearful of meeting others. And I remember that day, boy, I probably shouldn't tell you this because Christy's gonna be a little ashamed of me, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, that there was this, uh, Chevy Chevette driving through a mall parking lot and I started hollering for then that car to stop. Which of course, that is my wife. I had no idea what was gonna happen, but I was able to build up my courage because there was a friend there and I was trying to showboat from him. Don't act like you've never done it, okay? So anyway, you have to really accept it and then you have to decide what is the worst case and what is the best case. And you're probably gonna end up, if you just conquer it, coming closer to the best case. Number three is to understand it. I want you to rationalize it. Why are you scared? What's causing that fear? Is it fear that your friends are gonna make fun of you? Well, if they're really gonna make fun of you, they're probably not truly your friends. You know, when I'm saying rationalize it, is it that you're just scared you're gonna fail? Well, you're not gonna succeed. I mean, you've heard that, but you're not going to succeed if you don't try. So again, just rationalize it. Understand it by saying, okay, what exactly is causing this fear? It's fear that I'm going to be judged. It's fear I'm gonna be criticized. It's fear I'm gonna fail. Well, that's all temporary and it's not painful. You're not gonna die from it. Well, unless you're trying to overcome something really crazy. Number four, and you're gonna find this kind of crazy and kind of odd, but I want you to become an actor. I want you to become an actress and you are going for your star role. And I mean, think about it. However you have to do that, you have to have, I'm not gonna say out of body of experience, out of body experience, but yeah, I guess I just did say it. So you wanna become an actor and it just makes it easy. I hope you can understand what I'm saying with that, but when I get on stage and even when I do these videos, I have to become an actor. Do the same thing. It makes you feel easier at what you're doing, what you're going to accomplish, and it really allows you to go all out. So let me give you really a case a scenario, more or less, that my fear of public speaking, I've always been scared of public speaking, as many of you have, probably, hopefully, and what I do when I get on stage is I become someone else, and ah, it sounds weird, but you get my point. So I'm like, okay, I'm an actor. I'm, I'm gonna be on stage and I'm gonna go all out because we've all seen those individuals that will get on stage, that you go to a conference and you're like, oh my gosh, they're so boring, they're killing me. 
So when I get on stage, I have to take my energy up. I have to take my excitement up, just like when I get on camera. Just take it up and just understand that the people in the audience want to see you succeed. They don't want to be bored to tears. So that's where the actor or the actress part comes in play. Just, I could go on about this for hours, but you get my point. Number five, which is the, well, I'm not gonna say it's the most important, but it's very important because now you overcame that fear, you became the actor, you analyzed it, you just decided to go for it. Now it's analyzing at the end. Now you've accomplished it. What happened? Did you die? No, you didn't die. Did you get hurt? No, you probably didn't get hurt. Did you succeed? Yeah, you probably came pretty close to succeeding because you decided to do it. Now that an where you analyzed it, I want you to write it down. I want you to write down what were the pros, what were the cons, what happened, what was the outcome? And then right below, right below that, write, well, if I didn't do it, what would have happened? Now you can use that piece of wisdom, that success, to start to overcome more things. So when things face you, when things come your way that causes you to kind of go, oh, that makes my stomach hurt, and I feel that tightness in my chest, or oh, it gives me a headache. Now you know I have the confidence to overcome it. So it's very important that you use that and you continue to just check these things off. So every week what I want you doing is checking off those things that you're fearful, whether it's your personal life, whether it's your business life. I mean, it can be anything. It could be the way you're raising your children. It could be anything. So there you go, my five tips overcoming fear, and I'll see you next week.